What is going on guys? It is Brian here along with Cindy. What's up guys? And as I mentioned in the quick results video, we are doing a full recap and review of Alpha 1 Marvelous, which happened only 24 hours ago. Now you may have noticed we're in a different location from our usual spot. We're just trying out something different, you know, environment wise. I apologize if it's loud, but we decided to do this on the fly. We didn't expect it to do it here. We were going to do it somewhere a little more quieter. So we apologize in advance if you can't hear us. Um, I'm using a headset with a built-in microphone, so hopefully you can hear us and you might hear a lot of background noise so again. But then again, I've done a lot of reviews and promos in the past from the mall that came out okay. But uh, before this video gets uploaded, we'll make sure everything sounds okay. So starting off here now this is only cindy's second alpha one show and if you guys can already tell we're wearing matching shirts yeah which i didn't know until i got here at the mall and i was like Geez. so this is just a shout out to jade if you're watching this we're rocking your shirts huh? yep. so yeah so moving along so here is the breakdown of the card. So your opening contest was the number one contenders match for the Zero Gravity title. So Space Monkey defeated Dr. Daniel C. Rockingham uh -huh. via pinfall. So that makes Space Monkey the number one contender to the Alpha One Zero Gravity title. Mm -hmm. So again, Austin. Sorry. Sorry for your loss, but Dr. Dan lost, and I think Tyler said something on the bus, or sorry, not the train yesterday, so I'm not sure if you, I, if you, if you overheard it. I overheard but, it, but I kind of forget what he's saying, but... He was saying that ever since Dr. Dan debuted last year in Alpha 1, his win-loss record hasn't been the greatest, because I honestly, I don't know about you, Austin... But I can't really recall the last time I saw Dr. Dan winning a match. So, and Cindy has only seen Dr. Dan a few times. And the few times that she's seen Dr. Dan, he's lost. Exactly. So, I don't know where that's going to put him in the rankings, Austin. Again, sorry if we're knocking Dr. Dan. But again, this I'm is also... Sorry. And this is also a shout out to Dr. Dan. I we know you're a great wrestler, Dr. Dan. We want to see you moving up in the ranks in Alpha One. But hopefully your win loss record improves and I hope we get to see that. Okay. Now moving forward, your second contest of the night was the return of the night train to Alpha One, just insane. Defeated Gregory Iron via pinfall. Good. So this was Justin Shane's first comeback match in Alpha 1 since uh, I do believe he was coming back from an injury. Great team action and uh, they actually put on a pretty decent match oh, yeah. I'd say. Especially for Gregory Irons and for mm -hmm. the previous match at the Mortal Kombat 5. That's so, right. Yeah, I thought it was a great match, Cindy. What about you? It is a pretty good match, too, seeing the vulnerability Gregory has, especially the fact that he thinks he can inspire people. I'm sorry. You're still a druggie. You're always going to be a druggie, no matter what. Yeah, see, it's kind of like a polarizing opposite mm -hmm. because you're saying, you know, you're uh, one of you supposed to be a role model for people with cerebral palsy, but yet your gimmick is being, well, I don't know if it still is, but with the thing with Ricky Shane Page yeah. being the pill pusher. So that kind of like, you know, defeats the purpose mm -hmm. of being the role model. Yeah. That, I don't know, that's just us. So, yeah. but, yeah. So but still, huge respect to you, Greg. But still, but still, props to you, Greg. Yeah. So moving along, we had a match that carried a uh, few that carried over from the previous event, which we saw Easy E defeat Dominic Durrani via pinfall. Stokely was at ringside, however, for this particular match, 
the seven foot big man was banned from mm -hmm. ringside. So it was a good thing he was not in that fact. Now, I predicted that Dom was going to win this match. Easy E pulled, pulled out the victory. Oh, yeah. So, shout out to Easy E for that dub. And there was something that happened after the match where Stokely got into the ring, got on the mic, and asked Easy E to give Dom another match. Easy E refused. However, Stokely's like, okay, you know what? I'm going to sweeten up the deal. If Dom, now actually this is a correction from my quick results video. I apologize for that. If Jirani puts the any shot, any shot, any title, any time on the line, if Easy E wins that match, Easy E will get that shot. Now I apologize. I accidentally said Jirani. If Jirani wins, I apologize. Jirani's the one who holds that, well, I guess you could say contract. For that, so it'll actually be so. Another match has been added to June 18th. It hasn't been confirmed yet, but from if it is get if it does get confirmed, it'll be a two out of three falls match. Where if Easy E wins the contest, he gets the shot for any shot, any time, any time. Now, I thought this was a decent match, especially for Easy. Because I know Easy E's comeback hasn't been the greatest, but it's good to see Easy E, you know, back in action. Oh yeah, and especially you know, you guys did an amazing job, and also I wanted to give a huge shout out to Stokely. Well, you're welcome for me to take some pictures of you, and yeah, I did share through social media as well. You're more than welcome to take it. Yeah, oh, don't mind at all. And Stokely. <laughs> if that looks familiar, we'll have a picture up probably somewhere around here. So. That's right. And, uh, it's just for, for God's sake. Now, the next contest I'm very hesitant to talk about. Oh, yeah. This is what I'm looking forward to. Okay. Eh? Well, okay. We'll discuss that in a second. So. Okay. But it was Beautiful Bia taking on Casey Spinelli, where Beautiful Bia... <clears throat> defeated Casey Spinelli via pinfall. Now, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna show the pictures up somewhere on the screen somewhere. I'll try to show them. Which is my receipt to what went down two weeks ago. Okay. So, we both filmed. Okay, so the story goes is two weeks ago, before the event, we were filming our first video for Marvelous. Now, after recording the video, shooting it, editing it, and then uploading it to social media and tagging all the wrestlers in that match, something, like there was a comment that Cindy made in the video because she predicted going for Bia. That's right. I was going for Spinelli. And I'm not sure what, do you remember exactly what you said? To her well, in that video city. Honestly, I praise KC, especially the fact that I've heard of her. I've seen her matches like in other I mean other indie promotion companies back in the States, you know. But then again, I did give more praises to Bia and that's why I just say I just choose Bia. Simple as that, you know, just as calm, collective and innocent, you know? And then all of a sudden, like, I found out like Three days later, after the tree, as you saw in the receipt, like she freaking like like took some shots at me. Like what yeah. the hell? Yeah, just a just a from Twitter beef. Yeah. So so shots were fired via social. Media. And then my response is like, you know, I was like, wow. You know, so so after that tweet, Cindy responded. She, was, she made a meme towards Casey Spinelli about basically going for supporting Bia for this match. And then that led up to last Sunday, yesterday. So, actually, no, prior to that, actually, prior to the event, me and Cindy were making some additional signs for the event. Mm -hmm. One of the signs 
was actually a shot at Spinelli. Mm -hmm. As to it's, prove me wrong. Yes, it said prove me wrong, KC. Mm -hmm. And during the match, KC acknowledged. She actually recognized me. Yes, and she's like, "Is that you? Are you Cindy?" She, actually, she said, "Are you that girl?" Yeah, are yeah. you that girl? Yeah, and she pointed it out. And then throughout the entire match, was basically, she was basically getting the, she was giving Cindy heat. Well, yeah, I just like, I switched from like, welcome to Alpha One Mia, and then I was like, there, prove me wrong. And I was like, yeah, just prove it. Exactly. Like, I was trying to keep it calm and collected, you know, not to get it wild up. But because of that, like, I just cheer, be a heart as much as I can, telling her not to give up and all that. Yeah, of course, Casey trying to show, like, yeah, she could beat her and all that, but you know what? You're wrong, Casey. Yeah, beat you. As much as I... Sorry, Brian. Hey. I'm sorry if I'm, like, you know, aggressive in nature. <laughs> it's not good. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I know. It was just, again, Bia, Spinelli, we have this respect the hell out of both of you oh, yeah. we both love you mm -hmm. as performers right. but again because of the circumstances because i got stuck in a situation where it was like i mentioned before this was my dream match it happened but unfortunately i got stuck to who i was going to be cheering for again via love you respect you but Casey, you know how much of a fan I am of you. And again, shout out to you once again for letting me hold the and protect the precious Spinelli mic megaphone, which, as I mentioned in the tweet, next time I see you, if you need someone to protect that megaphone, I'm right here. And I okay. wanted to give a shout out as well. You know, Bia did a really good job, Casey. I respect you as well. And you know, like I said, you're wrong and I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm sorry, I do apologize that took a little too long, but um, we just had to, you know, we just wanted to just say To say things. from our perspective, you know, yeah. to you guys, if you guys were at the show in Austria, we want to know what's going on so far, so that way you guys can like able to know what is going on during the event of that happen, for sure. So moving along to the Alpha One Zero oh, Gravity yeah. title match, I think a personal favorite of the Del Bruno Mafia. Shout outs to all the people in the Mafia. Mm -hmm. uh, you know who you all are. No need. No names need to be said. That's right. You all know who you are. So we had our man, our champion, Alessandro Del Bruno with Jade yeah. Chung defeating the real Ben Affleck, Alex Daniels. Mm -hmm. And this is all to the Del Bruno haters. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. It is still is and will continue to be the year of the Godfather. It's already been one, one year, year strong. One year strong reign. Alessandro Del Bruno. Now you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but if my stats are correct. Alessandro Del Bruno, I do believe at this point, is the longest reigning Alpha One Zero Gravity Champion. There was someone who held a record similar to this. You may know him as Ricky Shane Page. Mm. But because Alessandro won the belt from Kobe Durst last year at Mortal Kombat 4, successfully defended it at the Mortal Kombat 5 and at Marvelous he has taken that title as longest reigning zero gravity 
champion. And it could be another year-long reign as champion. Oh, yeah. So, the Godfather, we salute you for being our Godfather. We bow salute. down to you. Salute to you. Continue that reign as champion. And But, regardless, let's just say knock on wood, whatever happens, the Mafia has always got your back. At least the kids are going to be scared for next month show. So, yes. So, now, just before we move on, as we mentioned earlier, Space Monkey is the number one contender to the Alpha One Zero Gravity title match. Now, because of that, it's most likely at the next event, our boy Del Bruno mm -hmm. could possibly be taking on Space Monkey as number one contender. However, that's the assumption. Now, it could change. It could be a triple threat. It could be a fatal four away. It could be anything. It hasn't been confirmed of what the specific match is. So again, stay tuned to Alpha Ones. Uh, stay tuned to them on social media for confirmation as the event is only two weeks away. Now, speaking of Ricky Shane Page. This was another match when I heard announced was I was torn against. This is was actually a bonus match added after the card was finalized, where we had Ricky Shane Page take on Young Miles, two fan favorites going head to head with Ricky getting the victory on top. Now, I again a big fan of both of these wrestlers. Ricky Shane Page, former Zero Gravity Champion. We have Young Miles, a very great talent in his own right. But this one, I was rooting for Young Miles because again, he's been a personal favorite of mine. He's got great athleticism. He's got some great ring work. And unfortunately, Lost to Ricky Shane Page, but you two guys put on a hell of a match. Much respect to the both of you, especially Ricky for getting the dub. But I do hope to see Young Miles put in more great quality matches such as this one. I don't know about you, Cindy. I thought it was amazing. It was a really good match after all, you know. And also, I just wanted to give a shout out to the Ricky Al army out there from me and also JP as well which JP I did not forget to mention you I know you were at the show but again my sincere apology anyway shout out to the Ricky army out there from me and also JP as well we did attend the show even on just an honorary Ricky army but you know he did one amazing match and you know honestly we're just looking forward to next month's show so far, you know? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. and it's going to tear down that house, y'all. And another reason why we're giving so much respect to Ricky Shane Page, after the match ended, this ultimate sign of respect, Ricky shook Young Miles' hand. Ultimate sign of respect between two great performers. Now that leads us on to our no disqualification tag team match. Now, it was announced it turned into a Texas Tornado style tag team match where all four competitors were allowed in the ring at the same time, no tags. Now, that was the team of the virus consisting of Josh Alexander and Joey Kings taking on the team of Al Ego, Ethan Page, and Shane Saber. What? Why are you laughing? Because you're saying Al Ego. Oh, did I did I say Al Ego? Yep. Oh sorry. <laughs> I meant to say all ego, Ethan Page. I, I, I apologize about that. Page? I meant to say all ego. Oh my god, I can't believe and it. Here, you might as well just say it now, Cindy. Again, I'm so sorry. 
I know that him and Tyler, before the show start, told Ethan, Ethan went through like the shirt and just do this. I said, I'm, I'm sorry, on the top of my looks, across the stage, yeah. even though everybody was like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, so this she, is what happened. Yeah, so Cindy, across from the ring, were looking at Ethan, tried to apologize to him while Ethan was doing this. Hilarious hilarious. Now, moving on to the match itself. Um, All Ego and Shane Sabre did defeat the team of the Virus. However, that was in Oshawa. This was a feud building between these four in Oshawa. Now, when Alpha One returns to Hamilton, oh, yeah. I do believe it is in the promotional poster, if I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but the virus saga continues. June 18th, do or do not, there is no try. So the saga will continue and the tag team titles will be on the line at that event. But again, that'll be something for another time. Now, to end this great event, we had the Alpha Male title on the line with the Diamond Tiger, Kobe Durst, taking on a returning Eddie Kingston. And Kobe Durst managed to retain the title. Now, it was announced on the Alpha One website that the match that's going to be happening on June 18th between Ricky Shane Page and Eddie Kingston would be a possible potential Alpha title, Alpha Male title match if Kingston won, and that would have been the page between RSP and Eddie Kingston for the title. But however, Kobe Durst won the match and. This match, wow, was, I was impressed. I agree. Because, as you saw, Cindy, Kobe Durst was trying his best to lay it into Kingston. Mm -hmm. Kingston was like, nope. The chops that Kobe tried to give Eddie, nope. No. But when Eddie returned them, Kobe, as a lot of you fans know, mm -hmm. When Kobe gets his chest lit up, yep. it's like Christmas. Oh it's yeah! Like, it's like it's like it's like nighttime when it's dark and you see the night lights come up. That's how lit up Kobe's chest was. Oh yeah! However, Kobe did win. Mm -hmm. But res again, respect to both gentlemen. Again, Kobe, respect to you for keeping the Alpha Male Championship alive as champion. So, your next, you will have another opponent, uh, do or do not try, mm -hmm. and it's another challenge to prove why you're still the Alpha Male Champion. Now, just a shout out to Eddie Kingston. Uh, actually, well, it was kind of like a shout out to us, because when Eddie Kingston came out, we threw on the DCC match, yep. and he acknowledged it, even just a point and a nod. Salute you. Yep. Andy Kingston. Oh, yeah. So, because of that, I think you may see those masks again next month, Eddie, but you might see an additional one. So, you might see something close to home, let's just say, if you will, at the next event. Let me see three of them. So you have some additional support. Now, overall, Oshawa, you got spoiled. Oh, yeah. Again. Yes. I thought Hamilton was spoiled with all these great Alpha That's One right. events, Cindy. Yeah. We came all the way from Hamilton. True. To see Oshawa get spoiled. Almost a three hour commute. Yeah. It was Via a long commute. Yeah, it was a long commute. But you know what? Definitely 
worth every minute, every second, mm -hmm. especially being at that event. That's right. So overall, just like previous events in Oshawa, amazing event. Mm -hmm. Awesome event. Oh yeah. To sum it up, it was already in the title, marvelous. Marvelous this was. And very memorable too. So, Oshawa, the next time Alpha One rolls into your city, come to the show. Now, if you've never been to an Alpha One show, let alone any kind of independent wrestling show, definitely check out Alpha One. If you're not familiar with Alpha One, or if you've heard of other companies in the area, definitely, but definitely check out Alpha One. But come to a show; it's definitely worth the money. You get your money's worth. If you don't know anything about Alpha One, links will be in the description. There'll be links following this video. Check out the website. Check out clips from previous events on the official YouTube channel. Also, Oshawa, you may notice the billboards as well, so make sure to look out the information. The billboard is just a picture, but there'll be a website. Yes, to it Oshawa. Well. Again, you got spoiled. Mm -hmm. Again, oh, yeah. there is a billboard and advertisements in your city for Alpha One. So, again, Oshawa, check it out. Now this is a shout out to all my Hamilton peeps. The next time Alpha One rolls into Oshawa, I posted this on social media before. I'll mention it once again. We need to get a group trip going to Oshawa. Shows. That's right. Now I understand if it might be a burden to and, go and also budget wise too yes but we will work something out message myself in my social media feeds which i'll have down below for details on how we can make this work and this is a shout out to our boy keegan who came with us for the long trip and another shout out to tyler who met us up in toronto and commuted with us the rest of the way and back. So Tyler, we're definitely going to be doing it again next time Oshawa rolls into town. Now, just like you saw at the show, you can pick up some great merchandise like me and Cindy are wearing. So if you are at a show, definitely get some merchandise. It's definitely worth the money. Oh yeah. So again, I'll have links to well i'll have the information for my information cindy's information and tyler's information so you can keep up to date with our tweets our videos and any additional information in regards to alpha one so i hope you enjoyed this review i apologize it was a little longer than normal but we wanted to make sure that if you missed the event, we wanted to go into a little more detail than the quick results one. And because the other one was on the fly, we may have missed some details. At least I hope that we covered all that in this video. And also some of the what went down with that one match. Right. Because yeah. of me. Yes. Now, if there's any information if you were at the show, or if there's any information that you we may have missed, so for anyone who was at the show, if we missed anything, we apologize. Um, let us know down in the comments below, or hit us up on social media, and we'll make sure that it's acknowledged. But again, for just before we go, we will have another video up for the next event. For do or do not 
There uh, is no try. There is no try. Yes. Yeah, this name. Yeah, to it's me, yeah. It's a little bit long of a hashtag, but we'll make sure that we have yeah. a video for that. So stay tuned for that because yep. that vid video should be coming up very shortly. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned to our channels for that. So on location here at Lamage Ball for Brian, this is and Cindy. That's right. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye, guys.